Yo guys and welcome to another episode of the FC Nuenberg career mode. We're now in episode 4 and we will be playing some more matches to get into a higher position in the league. At the moment we are in the 5th position. We have to play against Dusseldorf who are in the 7th position. We definitely don't want to lose this match because they could overtake us if we lose. So we are playing our strongest side. Who else but this team to play? And of course Mark Ryder is playing because of the injury of Hofland. He should be coming back pretty soon, but still, let's just get into it and try to get the win. So we're playing at the Sanderson Park, I believe this is, because uh, this doesn't look like an actual stadium to me, especially not for a, a second Bundesliga team. But uh, this could be a pretty, pretty tough matchup because Dusseldorf has quite a nice team. And uh, at the moment, Sultan Stieber is actually uh, scoring a goal per game in the last three matches, which is great. Let's see if he can uh, keep up that form and score another one in this one to keep up the one uh, per game at uh, average. But this is their lineup and uh, players that are quite noticeable are their striker Dujic. Um, the rest I actually don't know. Bellinghaus by the way is pretty good but I know that they have Matos Boli on the bench so if they sub him we have to look out for his amount of pace. But the first chance was going to for, be for us with uh, Leibold passing over to Fulkrug. And Fulkrug was immediately running through. Took the shot and immediately was 1-0. Very, very early goal by us. And after just f only 3 minutes of playing time, we've made it 1-0. And it's uh, Fulkrug again to make a goal. He uh, so far has been our top scorer, I believe. And uh, this is another pretty decent goal. Not, not too shabby. But uh, could have definitely been better, a better finish. But uh, he took the shot. Uh, a guy tried to slide in front of it, but uh, he took the shot over him, or it flew over him, so uh, he wasn't able to block it, which is fortunate. But then, uh, quite a bit later, we cut ourselves a corner, and it was, uh, I believe, Mark Wright to, to make uh, to take the header, and uh, the keeper made a brilliant save. But we got another corner, and this time the keeper punched it out. And then uh, it was a chance for Dusseldorf going on to the left hand side and uh, tr trying to take a shot, a bit similar to the shot that we conceded against Freiburg, but this time it didn't go into the back of the net. And it's uh, pretty lucky, to be honest. Because uh, that would have been an amazing goal by them and uh, that would make it equal as always. As always, of course it would have been, but not as always. But uh, there they got a great chance to make it 1-1, uh, but uh, they weren't able to convert it. And then Petrock got the ball played through and didn't get even close, but then uh, steeled it off the defender, went through into the box and he got taken down and the ref gave a penalty. Despite me thinking that it shouldn't have been a penalty, uh, he still gave it. And if we look at this replay, I still don't think that it will be a penalty. Let's just take a look. It will, by the way, be a yellow card for their uh, centre-back. But here he plays the ball, I believe, and uh, then takes out Petrock. Like, this is not the perfect angle to see this, but I think he t uh, t took the ball uh, first. So I don't think it should have been a penalty, but we took it with Stieber, and Stieber was kind of smashed into the left hand side of the goal. No messing around, just take the penalty and score it to uh, make sure that we are now 2 uh, 0 up against Dusseldorf. It's a lovely penalty, by the way, just. Absolutely smashing it into the top left. Important goal as well to uh, give us a bit of a bit of better lead. Now doubling our lead actually. And uh, let's take another look. It might actually fly straight into the camera right now. Now it's just gone left of the camera actually. That would have been great if it hit the camera. But now in the 90th minute the keeper has gone up for it. And uh, we were trying to take the ball of them. And the keeper actually helped out a little bit. And now he may have... Might uh, get a chance to take a shot from distance and uh, Moat got the ball and uh, he tried to take the shot but the keeper was already very far back and the shot got blocked anyway so it didn't matter too much. But uh, that could have been a great goal and then the keep the referee I mean was gonna let it play on for quite a while as you can see over here but it uh, would be the end of the game and uh, it will be a great 2-0 victory to gain us another 3 points in the league. And uh, we then had a little update on this new uh, talent. Niklas Fusinic and uh, he is a pretty nice uh, goalkeeping talent. He might be great and uh, might be the keeper that we need in the next season because Shape is of course retiring at the end of this uh, season. Which is a shame but we have to look for replacement and if we can do that 
through a youth uh, player that would be really really awesome but we were gonna sim this match against Karlsruhe because they were at down at the bottom of the table or at least not that high up but they were somehow able to beat us 2-0 very very devastating loss right there I wasn't really uh, expecting that one to be honest because they are um, well now they are in a 12th position but that might have been way lower I think they were in 15 or something like that but still uh, that happens that's the risk you take when simming a match and but now we're just gonna play against Grutefu for we're in the 8th position I believe maybe in the ninth position but they are definitely not the worst of teams and uh, I believe Freiburg already played their game and they're now on 20 points we are on uh, 16 so we can make the gap uh, a bit smaller making it only one point of a difference still Freiburg would be at top of the table and we of course want to get closer so we definitely need to win out here so we are still going to be playing the strongest team just checking if Hofland was back from injury but he definitely wasn't so uh we, this is the team that we're using, the strongest team that we have to make sure that we get the win. And it was uh, Burgstaller with the first chance. He's running through and uh, he, 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 wow, he went through and just scored a goal. Let's just say it like that. Because uh, I wanted to say that he evaded the slight tackle, which was very, very poor. Then uh, easily turned his opponents, just finessed it into the bottom right. And uh, would have been a great goal by uh, Burgstaller very, very early on. Again, we score. And it's a very, very easy goal because the defense of Grutfuf is not paying any attention, it looks like. Letting us go through very, very easily. But now it's uh, Stieber in the second half, passing it over to Petrock and uh, Petrock plays it into Barons. Now Gislason uh, was going to take the shot of, after getting the ball from Barons. And uh, it was a pretty decent shot, but the save was even better, so uh, it wouldn't be a goal. But then Bulthuis uh, got in a great header, but uh, it got deflected, so it will be another corner. And this time it will be a Barons to try to pick it up, but the uh, defense was going to get it and uh, be able to clear it. Then in the 57th minute, it's uh, us on the ball. Barons now got the ball and took the shot, and it's a pretty decent save by the goalkeeper, but nothing too challenging for him to save. But uh, again, a nice chance. But now it's uh, Leibold, who just ruins possession, gets absolutely wrecked out there. And then the guy that pushed him aside took the ball. Squared it up for an, uh, his teammate to make it 1-1, uh, but somehow he didn't score very, very luckily right there. And it was going to be the end of the game and it was going to be a 1-0 win thanks to that early goal. And uh, by the way, uh, Jampong is now actually 64 rated, slowly becoming a better player, getting to it, that high potential that he has for a fullback, which is uh, 83. But then we had a match to finish off the episode against Heidenheim. And uh, Heidenheim at that time was in the 6th position. And uh, they were only three points behind on us, so uh, we definitely needed to win again. We don't want to be losing any of these games at least. But um, yeah, the, we're using the strongest side we have once again, just because we want to make sure that we are winning all our games. And uh, definitely don't want to lose, especially a draw would be, wouldn't be the worst of results, but now it's uh, Balanta going through and uh, got himself a free kick in a pretty decent position for Stieber to, to do something, maybe lay it off to another player and uh, then take the shot. But uh, we especially needed uh, a goal early on again just to make sure that we won't be uh, going to get a uh, goal late on conceded because then we would be in great trouble because uh, then we wouldn't be losing and as I said losing at this point is something we don't want to happen but uh, I absolutely ruined it with Stieber laying it off to him taking it uh, a finesse shot back into the wall basically but at least we got on a corner out of it and it falls to Barons who is gonna try a shot but uh, was uh, not coming anywhere near the goal because of the block and the keeper was gonna clear it. Now in the 30th minute they actually have the ball and they're going for a, a shot and it's an amazing save by Shaver. That's one of the best saves he made, made so far in this season. And uh, it helped us out pretty pretty damn well because we don't want to concede any goals right now. But uh, Bloom now is going for a counter attack but uh, he lost the ball and then the shot came in but got blocked luckily. And uh, we were able to clear the ball afterwards. 
Now it was uh, Finn who went through on goal for our opponents and he was going to try to cross it in. Now actually he was going to pass it over to Strauss and he was going to play in the ball. And uh, we gave it away to Toya Kauf and Toya Kauf absolutely smashed it into the post. Coming off the post it actually went into the goal so we were 1-0 down. And uh, that was not the greatest of things to happen at this point because as I said conceding right now would be very very bad. But uh, Kevin Ballanta then went through on goal, did lose it, but uh, Bloom picked it up. And uh, Bloom was going to pass it over to Stieber, and Stieber also got uh, tackles, but uh, somehow managed to still get the ball, and uh, he was going to give it to, um, I believe, Fulkrook, and uh, not to Bloom. And Bloom was going to turn around to give it to Ballanta, and Ballanta is the one to make it 1-1. Uh, long attack, somehow we managed to stay under the ball for quite a long time, but... Uh, Eventually we got through and I thought it was offside but if you look at the replay the third defender if you can see went uh, quite a bit uh, back which made us um, um, sure that we weren't offside and able to score the goal. Very very lucky right there to may be able to score that goal but still that's uh, how football works you just don't want to make that mistake as a defender. But at least we've now come back level and we can start from scratch trying to get the win. But then there was going to be a, a chance, I believe this is a chance for us actually, because under high pressure we do intercept the ball and Kevin Belanta picks it up, it's going to play through Bloom and Bloom took the shot, a big big chance for Bloom but he wasn't able to convert it into the back of the net and that was going to be the end of the game I believe. Um, yes it is, it is the end of the game and uh, it's not the worst of uh, results, at least we got in the draw, got on one point. And if Freiburg lost, they uh, we will be equal on points. And I'm pretty sure we've gotten a better goal difference, so that's good. But yeah, still, it would have been better to pick up an, uh, a win right here and make sure we could overtake Freiburg with also on points. But for now, we're just going to assume this match against the Paderborn in the Deutsche Pokal. We have already uh, done our objective for this uh, cup, so I'm not too bothered if we lose, but... Just no injuries is all I want. I'm rotating the team very, very heavily just to make sure that it's not the gracious of player that gets injured. A few players in there that are, of course, it was going to happen. Shave did get injured. And if you look at the player that scored the goal, that was actually Sylvester. And Sylvester is one of our own players. But now Shave is injured for five weeks. His injury is going to last. So we have to play Rolkowski, who is our second goalkeeper. In the next few episodes, maybe one or two episodes. It's not too long, but definitely isn't positive because he's 65 rated. But still, this is going to be the end of the episode. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.